Look, I think that in general terms, the difference between physicalism and materialism is largely historical. Um, materialism was a view that was invented during the pre-Socratic period, Epicurus and, and his predecessors held to it. The idea there is for something to be real, it has to be matter. It has to be hard physical stuff, right? And the atoms were hard physical things that sleeted through the void and banged into each other and so on. Around about the early part of the 19th century, we started to talk about physical fields. And these were not hard stuff that you could bang. Right? These, however, were fundamental parts of reality. So the reason that these days people talk about physicalism rather than materialism is that the language of physics describes things that aren't matter. Right? Or aren't observable matter, like dark matter or our energy, or our fields, or our space-time continua, these sorts of things, which the old-style materialists knew nothing of. Uh, and um, physicalism is basically the claim that all that exists can be described in the language of some ideal physics. We don't know what that ideal physics is yet, and may never, but we've got to think that it's something very close to our current physics. Because we can do stuff, we can explain stuff that just could not be done or explained prior to the invention of one physics. We're splitting atoms. We're banging subatomic particles into each other and finding Higgs bosons and top quarks and, you know, all these sorts of things. And they have outcomes that we can see and we, we can predict before we do it. So assuming that there is some ideal physics that we are yet to discover, but which will be very similar to the one that we've got now, I think that everything that exists will be describable in that physical language. And therefore, I deny the mental realm, the ideal realm, the spiritual realm, and so forth, as being things that are not describable by physics. If we discovered that there was, in fact, a realm of angels, I would expect physics to be able to deal with that. Right? Likewise, if somebody says, look, there are properties that human beings have that can't be described in our current physics, I would expect there to be a physics which could describe them. It turned out telepathy or telekinesis were real. They would follow patterns of, uh, of behavior. Of, they would be things that had properties whether they're fields or something else. Now, I don't happen to think those things are real, and I don't happen to think the mind is something more than the uh, behavior of a physical system. Um, but if it were, I would expect there to be a physics of that. And if magic turned out to be true, there would be laws of magic that were physical laws. Right? In fact, that's how magic used to be thought of. People doing magic weren't just waving their arms and having things happen, they were following rules. They were learning what the spells were, what the materials that you had to use were to get the outcomes that you wanted, even when it was involving demons and, and spirits and jinn and so forth. So um, the, the uh, point about being a physicalist is that you think everything is governed by rules and that there is an ideal language that you can use to describe all that. Whereas materialism is the idea that everything is, it takes up space. It's the Cartesian idea of physical. Right? It has extension, that is X, Y, and Z. It fills out the dimensions of space. Well, fields don't do that, right? And photons arguably don't do that. And singularities don't do that, right? But they're physical things. So that's the distinction.